Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have a Mercedes Vito. Uh, it's the 2.1 diesel, I believe. Uh, so we've got a DPF just down there. So what I'm just doing at the minute, I'm just taking off the airbox so I can access it. And then we'll go inside and show you what we're looking at with the fault codes. Just taking out the engine cover and we've moved the airbox over to the side there. We'll just get the rest of this pipe off so we can move it out of our way here. Now we can see directly into the DPF there. That's the, so you've got like a catalyst on a DPF system. And then you got the pressure sensor just right there with both hoses there going to the sensor. So I am a fair bit way through this already, but uh, we have the code there, soot accumulation, P246364. So again, we're using the launch fluid. We've just put half a bottle to that line, filled it up to about there, and then we filled the other half with a mixture of water. Okay, so we just opened up the uh, differential pressure sensor there. You see we've got two, two pipes in it. Now on these, they're both the same size, but uh, the back one here, second one basically, the second hose, is the one that goes after the DPF. Connect up the hose, we'll get the cleaning fluid in there, we'll do this one while the engine's running. So now the fluid's been put in there, we'll remove the tube, just let that settle down for a minute. up the manometer. Now uh, yeah the pressure might increase slightly. It was spiking at sort of 40 and dropping out to 20 a minute ago. Uh, we should hopefully like to see that get under 10. See as the soot's breaking down it will increase the pressure in the DPF once the fluid is it's melting down the soot and temporarily it will raise the um, the pressure. <laughs> Hold the rest there for a few minutes. Okay, we'll let it idle back down. We're now down to six. We'll now switch off the van. Using an E12 socket to put the bolt back in there to hold that clamp in place. And it's just basically the same sort of system as a sprinter. The, the airbox just sits back in there like that. And you push it back down into the rubber grommets. Just connect back up the airflow sensors. Okay, now we need to do the diagnostic side of it to get rid of this code. Uh, we are going to... Well, let's see, we need to find special functions. Ignition on. Diesel particle filter, regeneration, regeneration, teaching the particle filter. That's what we're going to do. And that's been completed. And I always like to do this on the Mercedes reset, reset the drift compensation. Now we'll go back into the code, clear the fault code, skewed a few revs to clear out the uh, smoke and the soot. 
and we just confirmed that we haven't got any engine lights on. Everything's all good. So I did check through all our live data on this. Uh, the temperature reaches 90 degrees. Um, everything seems to be in order. It's of course just a case of it's a taxi and uh, he does short journeys um, and a lot of idling around waiting for the next customer to pick up. So it's just a case of, uh, that's all it is, just a case of short journeys and trips. So that's it, Mercedes Vito. We're all finished. See you in the next video.